We get all types of calls. We get people who are really just calling in to talk about what's going on with their day, people who are in crisis, people who are looking for resources, really everything under the sun. So we get people who are experiencing crises and suicide as well as people who just want to check in on how things are going. Some people call us every day and we have our regulars, so they just want to check in with some counselors that might be familiar, you know, some familiar voices. And of course we have people who are experiencing suicidal ideation. This is personal to me. I mean, these two issues, uh, addiction, you know, runs in my family. Um, I lost my nephew to fentanyl overdose. Uh, mental illness runs in our family. We have to talk about the stigma to try and say, hey, us too. And then we can all help each other out. We have poured billions of dollars. We've been able to appropriate our state opioid response bill last year we did was over $8 billion in five years, but we're not winning. We are not winning against overdoses in fentanyl. Uh, the cartels are winning. Uh, we're mental illnesses. Uh, we're winning in that folks feel less stigmatized and better to talk about it, but we're so short on practitioners. In Congress, uh, we put together 140 members, and uh, guess what? We found out it doesn't matter if you're a Republican or a Democrat. It makes no difference. We are all in this together.